Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm gonna show you the correct way to remove and install a harmonic balancer. Okay, this is a harmonic balancer. What does it balance? Nothing. It is a crankshaft vibration damper. It doesn't balance anything. Even though that's what they're called, that's not what they are. They don't balance anything. It, uh, it dampens uh, crankshaft torsional vibrations. I think I said that right, I'm not positive. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how to remove one and replace it. If you're doing something like the cam swap or something like that I did on my 73, you have to get this out of the way to get your timing cover off. Um, and if you have to get your camshaft and all out, that's all gotta come off. So I'm gonna show you how to take one off first, then I'm gonna show you how to put one on. All right, the correct tool is a harmonic balancer removal tool. I happen to have one that's made for all types and makes. Um, you've got three fine thread bolts that go into the pulley that hold it on to this balancer from on a factory engine. Um, it comes with three 3 h 24 bolts in this kit. I'm gonna use my main piece and I'm gonna use my short mandrel or stem, whatever you wanna call it. And then I'm gonna use my flat head on it. There's two heads, a flat one and a pointed one. I usually use the flat one. Now, the way you set this up, you take and thread your main shaft into the puller part, get it going, snap your part on the end, and what it is is there's threads in there for your crank bolt. If you don't use this part, that this will go try to go in there and screw up the threads and you can't get your crank bolt back in. So, I want this in there about like that. Now, on a small block Chevrolet, I'm gonna use this one, this one, and this one. And then I'm gonna get this uh, started. Probably should clean out these holes first because this engine's been sitting here kind of dirty, but it's okay. And then you want to tighten it evenly. And what I do is I pull this back out to make sure this is mostly parallel with the face of that because you don't want it, you know, off offset or anything. You want it fairly even. Now, I want to make sure my threads are engaged good enough in this to where if there's a lot of pressure, I'm not going to tear the threads out of the balancer. But um, I don't want to get too far in there and have, have to, you know, go a mile to get them back out. All right, so I want to get these put in there a little bit farther, make sure I got a good bite on my threads. And then I want to make sure they're even, kind of eyeball it a little bit. And then, like I said, I pull the uh, I pull the puller out and make sure that all of them are touching. See, if I pull the bottoms in, there's a little bit on the top. So I want to go in a little farther with it. There we go. Then I want to tighten this up, get a little bit of pressure on it. Probably wouldn't hurt to put a little bit of uh, oil or assembly lube or something on this now I want to get a socket or a wrench for the end and you can do this for a minute but then it's going to start turning the engine you can probably tighten it up just a hair but then what I do is I go in and I do not I, I'd rather buy new bolts for my puller than the main shaft even though I've got two so I put my pry bar in here beneath the bolts and then I come in and I start tightening this up and it pushes on the crankshaft and it pulls on the balancer. And it's already starting to come out. Now sometimes they are very, very tight and they're a pain to get off, but it always works. It just, sometimes you have to struggle with the puller a little bit and really, uh, really put some back pockets into it and then once you start getting it most of the way off it'll uh, slide on off just like that okay so now you've got your balancer your damper whatever you want to call it you've got it off of the engine a couple of things you want to check on this thing now you can see right here there's a pretty good groove in the back part of this that's where your timing cover front seal for your engine rides and this thing is grooved pretty bad. I'm see if the see if you see right there. This thing is grooved pretty bad, and they do make a repair sleeve for this. So it's a very thin metal sleeve that slides over this. You have to clean this really good. You slide it over it, and then you press this back on, 
and you should be fine. Um, I think they used to make, somebody told me they did, I've never seen one, an offset seal for the front of this, but I'd have to see that. It's too, too cheap to get another one of these or put a sleeve over it. Um, another thing you want to check on your balancer, uh, after you find out that it's grooved or not grooved, you want to check your elastomeric band. I think that's what they call it. And it's this rubber band right here. So you got an inner piece, you've got your outer piece, and then you've got the band that connects the two together. And this thing should stay in the same uh, position on this all the time. If you ever see one of these where this band is all cracked up, there's a very good chance that your timing mark that is somewhere on here, right here, your timing mark has slipped and is not in the right position to the keyway for the crankshaft. So you want to you want to make sure that this band is not all cracked up. And then also, like I did on the other motor when I put it together, I put the balancer I was going to use on, I verified top dead center on the piston, and I made sure my balancer was zeroed on my timing mark. Because that won't be the case if this thing's all cracked up and this has spun on the center piece. Okay, so now that I've showed you how to take one off of an engine, inspect it, make sure it's okay to use, I'm going to show you how to put one on the engine with the correct tool. This is not how you install a harmonic balancer. This is not the correct tool. This is the correct tool. You have a shaft, an inner piece, a bearing, and a nut, and an adapter for the crankshaft uh, brand and size that you're using. And ours is a 7 20. So we're going to get that out. I'm going to show you how to put this together and install the balancer. Okay, like I said, I've already verified when I was putting this engine together that my timing mark zero is zero on the balancer. So I'm going to take this, put it through here, take my adapter. Like I said, for a small block Chevrolet, it's going to be 7 16 20. I'm going to screw the adapter in. I don't screw this adapter in tight. I screw it in a long way, but I don't, I don't want it tightened up because I want it to be easy to get out. All right. Then I'm going to take my balancer. I've already cleaned up the back on it, make sure it didn't have a groove in it. Now I'm going to put a little lube on it, smear that around. You can use oil, you can use assembly lube, whatever you want to do. Just make sure it's something that don't, it won't tear your seal up. I'm going to get my keyway lined up and I'm going to get it started on there. Now if you want to, you can tap it on there just a little bit with a soft face hammer like this to get it kind of on there kind of square, but this is not necessary. I usually do that a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna put this in there over my other piece, run that in and screw it on to, screw it into that adapter. Sometimes, this one doesn't wanna screw in. Did I bend it? I might've bent it putting another one on. Okay, it's tightening up now. There we go. All right, and I get that almost where it just doesn't move a whole lot, but it still moves. All right, so now I take my bearing. It's got a, it's a sealed bearing, but it's got a back face and a front face that are obviously separate pieces. I put that on there and that's gonna rub up against the balancer. I'm gonna put my nut behind it. I'm gonna tighten this nut up on here. And now I'm gonna hold this, hold this piece that's pulling on the threads of the crank. I'm gonna tighten this, and that's gonna push this balancer all the way on. So I'm gonna hold this with my 9 16 wrench, and I wish this was bigger so I could have a longer wrench, but it's not. And then I'm gonna start putting, turning my nut until my balancer starts going on. Most of the time these, goes on, these go on very easy. Sometimes they're a little bit stubborn, uh, I made sure it's a new crankshaft in this thing and I made sure the inside of my balancer was clean and free of any birds or anything like that. So it's going on pretty easy. And it takes a few minutes to get it on there. All right, now it is all the way on. So I'm gonna loosen up my nut. Well, thought I could do it without my backup branch, but I guess I can't. Loosen that nut up, and I should be able to unscrew everything all together 
I might have to reach in there and get that adapter out. Most of the time it all comes out together. Like that. Then I take everything back apart. So none of it's bound up. Put it back in the case. All right, so now you know how to remove a harmonic balancer, check it for damage, and then correctly install it with the correct tools. Now, if you don't have these tools, you can rent them from an auto parts store. Most of them have a free loan a tool program or something of that sort. Uh, if not, maybe one of your buddies has one. And then your final option would be to look in the description of this video. I'm gonna put links for these tools on Amazon so you can click on there and go buy you one if you want to. Now, not everybody has nine Novas like me, so you might only need to do this once. You don't have to buy the tool for that. Uh, you could just go get one or borrow one. So this engine is going in the budget over real soon, along with the transmission. And when I say real soon, probably tonight or maybe tomorrow. And then I've got to get it plumbed. I've got to get it wired. And then we can fire this thing up and get the car finished up. Maybe go on a little small road trip or something like that. I appreciate you guys commenting and liking, subscribing, watching my videos. You don't know how much it means to me. I'll see you next time.